folks coming in right now, high school students, their senior year uh, disrupted. They had, you know, obviously nobody saw this coming. But how is that going to affect their grades and their transcripts? Is there anything that can help them as they uh, transition to junior college or four-year schools next year? Well, yeah, and I want to just make sure that um, our community knows that they can access information about this very, really important topic on our website. Um, you know, the higher ed institutions have now uh, come out and declared that um, grades um, for our students uh, will not be considered for admissions purposes. Uh, both the University of California and the CSU have actually now declared um, that students will not have to take the SAT or the ACT as part of admissions. Um, but, you know, my daughter happened to have graduated last year, and I can only imagine what she would be going through this year. And many of our students, of course, are seniors, and many of our parents are parents of seniors. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are doing everything that we can to determine, based on Sac County Public Health orders, uh, what a graduation might look like. Um, there's uh, some discussion regionally through the County Office of Education as well uh, to see if maybe we could do something virtually. Um, but, you know, we're all going to continue to just see what might be viable um, working in partnership with the Sac County Public Health Department. Right. I, well, every college in America is going through the same thing and every high school district in America is going through the same thing that you're going through. So I think there's a mutual understanding of the challenges that everybody is, uh, is, is doing right now. Okay, next one coming in. Will students be able to interact with their teachers if they need help on lessons or homework with distance learning? Yeah, I mean, you know, part of the, the idea of distance learning, um, and, and keep in mind that um, many of our educators also um, are uh, facing um, their own personal challenges. I mean, many of our families and many of our educators are caregivers. Uh, some of our um, educators are also displaying health conditions that may make it difficult for them. Um, you know, this is a, a, a crisis that applies to everybody. And so what we have established is that a distance learning plan should be very flexible. Uh, for our educators, for our community. Um, we do have sort of the concept of office hours in our distance learning plan. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have fantastic educators in Sac City Unified, and I think that what we're hearing is that everybody wants to do what's best for our students in their best interest, and that will also apply to how we respond to our communities and our students based on their needs. Jorge, uh, Jorge Aguilar, Superintendent of Schools, Sacramento City, uh, thank you. I know you're extremely busy right now with day one of distance learning. We thank you and uh, good luck going forward. Thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We'll move forward. Thank you very much. Appreciate the, 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 the opportunity to discuss our distance learning plan. And again, let's all, we're all in this, this together. Yeah, indeed. Thank you, sir. Thank you.